defense at this point because it was it, it was too late in the game. What do you make of it? Well, I, big shocker. I'm not because if and and by the way, throw it in. I don't mean to conflate issues, but again, this is a demonstration that and she was alive. Yeah, I mean, look at it. And and we've had problems along the way. This has been decades of poor leadership on on legal immigration issues in this country. But let's not miss what for help from that far away. Hey, Kamala was supposed to fix that, right? Root problems? Well, Kaylee said she didn't go to the intake center. So streets that have been eroded with our sympathy and empathy and how much all of those migrants are paying with just a gang of six, a gang of eight, a gang so, of whatever. So let me tell you who's been around for lives. those five decades. Yes. The man in the White House right now. I thought he was going to have some better ideas. Might be the mm. words you of a lot of Americans who voted for him. <laughs> mm. That's a good point. Um, all right. So in January, Super PAC 5.8 million, and most of them 100,000 and above in donation, donations. So pretty large. In a swing state, who are well, very angry. The nature right now. of a swing state is sometimes you win them, sometimes you lose them. Want to just win the primary? January 6th are hostages. No, the hostages are in Jessica, Gaza. And the Department of Education Jessica, being whittled down to one person all due respect, to ensure we all should at needs, all. He needs a reset. He knows it. The State of the Union is supposed to be the reset. We need campaign, including buying votes on falsehoods. And the one that kills me the most, I have to say, in chief, he makes tornadoes out of tiny little mustard seeds. We know mustard seeds can create mountains. Well, his are a mountain of lies. God bless you. And with him are an army of surrogates. Uh, <laughs> yeah. my, my liberal pals that uh, we, that's the problem with it. So there is a overwhelming feeling on the left. It's an election year and Biden's team is signaling a more aggressive posture towards the press. I just have to laugh as someone who during an election year worked in the Trump administration and they feel like the press is hard on them. It's deeper with someone like Biden because he ran on this idea that he wouldn't be hyperbolic, that he wouldn't say things. We could get into the specifics of it. I mean, just we this week talking about... I